Coral reefs are a critical part of the ocean's ecosystem here and around the world. That's right, but scientists are worried about their continued demise, saying that we've already lost 20% of the world's reef systems, and we could lose even more and quickly unless changes are made. To help, to help do that, 2008 has been designated the International Year of the Reef. Ramsey Wharton is at the Waikiki Aquarium with more. Ramsey? Hey, good morning, everyone. We are here at the Waikiki Aquarium, and it is wonderful to be back down here today to really get that first-hand look to remember how fragile and beautiful and exotic our coral reef ecosystems are. To tell us more about it, the education director here, Mark Heckman. Good morning, and thank you for joining good morning. us. Uh, why are our coral reef systems so important to us here in Hawaii and around the world? Oh, my gosh. They build islands. If you surf, they help create our surf breaks. If you fish, where are the fish going to come from if they don't have the coral reef to hide in and to grow on? They rejuvenate our spirit. They're beautiful. They certainly are. And inside this tank, tell us of, uh, a couple of the species and things that we're looking at. This is some soft coral, and it's flowing, and it's spectacular. And this one down here, guys, that is not fake. That is vibrant like a neon green. Tell us about that one. Okay, that's actually a type of mushroom coral. These are from across the South Pacific, these corals in here. We do have both hard corals with uh, stony skeletons. We have what's called soft corals that are sort of flowing with the water a little bit. Bit. And we have all kinds of other things here. Everything you see is, again, live in this tank. Together. And Go ahead. I was just going to say, and it's so important that we remember to take care of it. There are some steps. A lot of scientists, we have global warming, human activity, lots of things destroying the reefs. And we put together four tips for people at home. And we, we start with the first one, the obvious one, don't touch it uh, and stand on the sand. Yeah, I'd agree with that entirely. The coral is alive. Its skin is very, very thin. It has just two layers of skin, really, that cover that skeleton. If you touch between your eyes, you can feel the bone kind of at the top mm -hmm. of your nose there. The skin in a coral is thinner than the skin at the top of your nose between your eyes. If you step in a coral, it's like standing on somebody's face. Don't pollute. Don't pollute. Makes sense. Remember, all water goes to the sea. No matter where you live on the island, no matter where you live on the mainland, that water eventually makes its way to the ocean and affects reefs. They remind us not to feed the fish out there. We like the uh, ecosystems to stay normal and to stay natural and for the animals to get the nutrition that they need. And of course, we've seen some spots uh, airing locally. Eat what you catch, don't take more than you need. At this point in history, we really won't want to be responsible. We want to harvest responsibly. So if you're going to eat a fish that day, great. You know, if you catch one, it's the right size, take it home. But don't try to fill your freezer and then have them go bad. I hear you. What ya. a sad thing. Okay. Now, folks, if you want to find out more information on Year of the Reef, we're going to put it all up and how you can come down to the Waikiki Aquarium. In fact, there's an event Saturday, April 12th, yep. here at the aquarium, 9 to 2, free admission. We're going to be talking more preservation. We'll post it all on our website. GMB9.com. Just search for International Year of the Reef or Waikiki Aquarium. You're watching Sunrise on KGMB9.